Cheers, by the way. Thank you. Roland Quackenbush. Roland. Roland. Roland Thunder. Roland. 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 As some guys say Roland, mm -hmm. but you're Roland because it fits Roland Thunder. No, no, actually, my name was always Roland. It was never pronounced Roland. Like okay, but the, but the Roland fits with the thunder, oh, yes, yes, like yes. Rolling Thunder. Yes. So, yes yeah. And I did have to nail the drums down. Just Okay. Well, I don't know you. I didn't know you personally, but right. uh, you know, just through Facebook and all that. Some of these other guys, first time I met them, first time I met uh, Andy Sutton, first time I met um, Adam. First time I ever really met him. Pat. One guy called, can I come? And I'm, I don't know, it could be an axe murderer. Welcome to the front room kicking it at Kubik's crib right here the online edition of the drum off series and in-house right here a man about town postmodern man as it be Roland Thunders Quackenbush and Roland thanks so much for coming in had a lot of fun drumming with you today that was fun a lot really of fun time. and Roland and I don't really know each other but through Facebook and Roland uh, is uh, you saw me play years yes, ago yes, yes and I saw him play several years back mm -hmm. out in Lansing what's it called it JJ Kelly JJ Kelly's how long has that place has been there well a you know, long he, time he owned night moves you remember Night Moves years back? And, and, uh, Where was that? Middle, no, I want to say Middle Lothian, but it wasn't Middle Lothian. Chicago Heights, maybe. I somehow remember it, but you know, I was gone for several years, so some of those spots I missed. Yeah. But J.J. Kelly's was there, and he had that since the 70s, right? At least. I don't Late know. 70s? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know when he opened, but I know Vince owned Night Gallery before he opened up that one. Night Gallery? Or, no, or no, Night no, Moves? Night Moves. Night Moves. So J.J. Kelly's kind of was like a biker place years back, kind of a biker bar. They kind of cleaned it up. But well, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not a motorcycle guy myself. But um, they, um, they, I think they did a lot of those runs, you know, where they... The biker the runs. Bike runs. Right, that was one of the stops. Yeah. Like for charity when they do the, the I think so. Toys for Tots stuff like yes. that. I remember going there somewhere in the late seventies and it wasn't Toy for Totty type feel that I No. Okay. <laughs> it was, no. Maybe it wasn't a biker bar, but you know how some of those places in the region were and you mm -hmm. you've been around. You're from Cal City. Right. I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> City in the house. Because we used to go to places like Just Angels and Harvey. Right. You remember that place? Mm -hmm. There was always a fight there when you went there mm -hmm. late night. Always someone was getting thrown right. out or being dragged out or whatever yes. it be. So uh grew up in Cal City. Uh, you went yeah. TF North. TF North. TF North rules. Hated TF South, right? I didn't, you know. <laughs> I, I didn't play sports, you know. I, I, I didn't. I, so <laughs> I, I, I never really had any rivals. Actually, I. I, I, I like the guys from TF South because they always had like a, a battle of the bands or something like that going on over there. So funny you say that. You have an award from the battle of the bands. This was from the uh, from the Lansing JC, and that was at TF South. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See. That was with Horizon, the band yes, Horizon. See that. It's a little dusty and one bit's missing there, but <laughs> there you go. I feel like Johnny Carson's here. Yeah. Can you get a shot of that? Yeah. Can you do that? <laughs> Wow, yeah, I can't band. believe you pulled that out. <laughs> it's been sitting here for years. I put the Horizon sticker on. Yeah, we did a Battle of Bands, I remember, because they used to have them there yes, all the time. Yes, the JCs would have. Actually, uh, you mentioned Gary Flanagan earlier. Uh -huh. his, he was, he was, his father was a big uh, JC guy. guy. Gary Flanagan, if you all remember, and f especially those locally here in the region, yeah. had he was in the band Mammoth. Yes, he was. And that all, all kind of tied in with Mammoth, m and Rush. Mm -hmm. And what was the other uh, uh, guy you were talking about? Kevin Friend. Kevin Friend. And, and what was his band? 
He, he was in Mammoth. Oh, he was in Mammoth. I thought he had another situation. Uh, 2020, going. 2020. 2020. 2020, yeah. So this kind of local scene that has been going on for years yeah. is still kind of floundering around yeah, somehow in some is. form. Or now, of course, some of these uh, guys uh, bring their kids to the gigs and, yeah. and, and the wives. I always see photographs and all yeah. that, so things change. Rock and roll. Yeah. Still rock and roll. Yep. Minus all the other bad things. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you know, it is what it is. Oh, growing up in Cal City, did you enjoy it there? Yeah. And yeah. you still live there? I still live there, yes. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, there's no reason for me to leave right now, so... I like it. We've been living here. My wife and I have been living here since all one, and I still don't know how the street thing is. Yes. Well, I, I know I my street. <laughs> I didn't even know this was back here, and I've lived here forever. And honestly, <clears throat> we live in Highland, Indiana, the Brantwood area. I never came back here either, mm -hmm. and then my wife and I were looking for houses. She goes, we should look in Brantwood. I go, where's that? Yeah. She goes, by Wicker Park. I go, I never knew it was here, you know? Right. So maybe we should shut up, because then now people are going to come looking for it. <laughs> well, you can take it out. <laughs> I remember my father taking me to swim in that pool, Wicker Park. At Wicker Park. Yeah. Did they have, they had a pool in um, Wentworth there, right? Didn't they have a big pool mm -hmm. there? Memorial Park. Memorial Park. I don't think I ever went to that one. We used to go to Man Park, and then they yeah. put the dome on it. Yeah. And then we used to go to Douglas Park in Hammond yeah. behind Angelo's. You remember Angelo's? Mm -hmm. I'm not. I don't know if you're familiar. Yes. Douglas Park was great because they had a high dive. And it was 15 feet deep. <laughs> so I lost. I was a little kid. We'd be now. You could. They don't even have diving boards. No. They have splash pads. Oh, yeah, that's right. Isn't a splash pad just as dangerous as a diving board, though? I, I personally, I wouldn't even go on a splash pad because yeah, <laughs> when 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 you're older, when you fall down, it. Oh, I didn't mean. You, <laughs> I didn't mean you now go to a splash pad. <laughs> I just meant as a kid, you know, because we, you know, I guess you'd fall off a diving board, crack your head or something. But because I went back to the old pool and there's no diving board anymore. I go, that's it was the whole fun. Yeah. Two can openers and yeah. jackknives and all yeah. that stuff and make the biggest the splash. Yeah. And you had to sit out next to the chair. We used to actually mess with the spring tension thing. So yeah. the lifeguard be up there. We'd send Jackie, go, go yeah. disrupt the lifeguard. Get his attention. Yeah. Pretend you're drowning or something. This is in the 60s. Yeah. And then when he wasn't and we'd like pull that thing back so yeah boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah good time seeing the yeah, region really when did you start playing drums you just drum all the time or <laughs> high school high school wow god yeah high school just because that somebody needed a drummer or something you know so just there was, picked there, up there, was, on there, there was bands everywhere you know when you went probably the same when you went to school there was there was like three four bands within the school Right. Yeah, everybody wanted a rock band and yeah. to gig and play the homecoming and the sock hops. Yeah. And what was the first band you were in? So you just play. Wait. First off, you just started playing. You just had it in you. 
Yeah, I just well, my my brother played and you know, and to to to, to play along with him, you know, he didn't want to play by himself. So so you had a drum set in the house all the time. Not always. It? Oh, not no, always. No, I I use whatever I had, you know, mm-hmm. Tupperware, whatever whatever the case may be. And then you know, then th- you know, then you start working, you get a job, then you can buy all your own stuff. You know, that's then that's really what happens. I started out with a used drums, and um, the the first band I was ever in that was really you know worth 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 anything was um was. I was. We were talking about Henry Jay's earlier. Was the band I joined across the street, we, Henry Jay's Music Land in Hammond, Indiana. Right, right. They ended up doing all the backup spots for Mammoth. Oh, really? Because my oh. brother played bass for Mammoth and Gary and Kevin. You know, I didn't know that your brother was the bass player in Mammoth. I never really met all those guys. I knew yeah. Steve Crabtree, yeah. and then you took his place. No, I took John Horvath's place. Oh, you took John Horvath. John, John, John Horvath. So I don't know. I don't. I don't really know because I wasn't there. They got a drummer from um, Lansing. His name was Mike Freewald, mm-hmm. who replaced Steve Crabtree because I think Steve was going on to whatever he was doing. I don't know. Then my brother joined the band because you know he went to school with John Horvath, mm-hmm. and then they John had just come off the thing with the Hounds, right? And so he was working with those guys for a while, and, and I, I don't know why any of what would happen, but all I know is they said, you know, you want to you want to do this. I said, okay, sure. They put out a record of their own stuff, didn't they? Um, I think they did after I was out of there. But but the the, the, the they were lucky enough to to do the the Kick UX hometown album. Wasn't that for radio? Yeah, for radio. And then there was a uh, um, didn't MRS do one of those too? Yeah, I think they did the Loop album. Oh, that's right. I kind of still hear that. Yeah, on Back social Chicago, media. Yeah. yeah, my brother was stationed in San uh, San Antonio. He just, for the heck of it, he sent a, a tape in of us, and we won pretty much the same thing, like a KQX album down there, radio album. Oh, good. That's cool. So we went down there and did that one, and that's the only thing I've ever really, really did with them until we did, me, we, the Kevin Friend thing when we did the MTV mm-hmm. deal, but that was about it. And that was basement tapes or something? Basement tapes. Yeah. Basement tapes, yes. Yeah, the uh, business is, uh, it's, a, it's a rough business to get those breaks and to get... well. I, that, that, and that's why I didn't play for a long time too, because it wasn't fun anymore. It has. There has to be a certain degree of you fun, know. and even if it turns into some sort of business or whatever, it still has to have that. Yeah. Fun bit, and I know um, it gets to be like a business. Yeah. And then you lose that, and then it's just like work, and yeah. you're like, oh god, I'm as a. Might as well go work in a shoe shop. You're absolutely right, and now, and I just, I, I, I said that when I when I started playing again. I go, look, if I'm not having a good time, I'm not doing this, and you know, it's what you make out of it. Because you play with a band now, Kicking Jimmy. Yes, and these and are it's all, all local about guys. fun. It's yeah. all about fun. It really is. You know, there's, you know, when, when you're when you're when you're like writing all your own songs and stuff. You know this, right? Mm-hmm. There's a certain pressure. That goes along with that too, you know. You're constantly thinking, "What, what am I going to do? How does this part go? What, you know, yeah. what can I? What am I going to think? Can I put a bridge here? You know, you know that kind of thing." But when when you're when we're on plan that the, the copies and stuff like that, which I told you how I do that, I you know, and I play them like I want to play them. Right. He learns. You kind of learn the song, and yeah. then you kind of just divert from it and yeah, say, "Well, I want to do this tonight." Yeah. You know, and, and that's and, a moment. That's kind of what music's supposed to be about. Yes. Exactly. Even if even, that's right. even if you even it. if you write the song, because even in my band Mad Rose, we wrote songs, and we'd always change it live because we played it like six hundred times. We played yeah. that song, right. so we kind of screw with each other a little yes. bit, you know. Yes. And the thing is, with especially with cover bands, I love when they do kind of a different interpretation or yes. your own take of that song. Yes, yes. Because you know, the guy might not sing like the guy in form. No, exactly. Right. Otherwise, change it around a bit and make it fun. Yes. And I actually enjoy watching a different interpretation or a different take on a song. Yeah, you know, absolutely. What-
Now I'm going to ask you about your wife. Okay, but it doesn't have to go in. It doesn't have to go in. (laughs) So interesting thing about Roland Thunder's Quackenbush is uh, you're married to the mayor of Calumet City. Yes, I am. So uh, if I get a parking ticket there, I'm all sorted. (laughs) (laughs) If you get a parking ticket there, you're going to pay for it. How is it being married to, uh, what's your wife's name is Michelle? Michelle. Um, and her maiden name is? Markowitz. Markowitz. Ma- Michelle Markowitz. Um, it's, it's, it's no different than anything else. One of these days when she's done with public service. You then know. you could run out and to grab the paper on the, what, what on the front lawn with your robe that's slightly open. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. For sure. <laughs> I get winded these days playing. I had a couple guys in here that were younger just throwing me like kind of under the bus. I was like, <laughs> yeah, you had some good points there. You, hold, you hold your own. Don't, yeah. don't cut yourself short. <laughs> well, don't you, cut yourself short. You as well. Any drummers that uh, inspired you? I love John Horvath. He, I've always, I've always, you know, once he started playing with, with, with the guys and I could watch him all the time, you know, I, I really. He was a monster drum yeah, player. He still, he still is. is. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then after that, I just you know, any anybody that would you know, there's a lot of good guys around. Like I was telling you about that guy Don mm-hmm. and uh, Gabby. I don't know if you ever. Heard yeah, of him. Gabby. I, I, I know. I know who you're talking about. He played with Mun years yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. That's Mun is in. Mun uh, watches Dead the Lock? show sometimes. He's in uh, Lafayette area. There. Okay. He moved down with his uh, with his wife. Do you practice a lot? Yeah. You do? Well, with the band. With the band, not just sitting no, down. There. No, no, I never practice. Because you're quite good here. You're really. Uh, Unloading her, you know. Well, I just got up. <laughs> you know, I, this is why we shoot in the morning. <laughs> Plus, today it's freaking cold oh, out it's here. It's cold. This is the day. It's gonna tomorrow's gonna be the coldest day in of history. ever <laughs> in the Chicago area. And uh, I thank you for coming out, though. So, uh, how many bands are you playing through your whole life? One. Oh, through my whole life, but not very many. Yeah. I just because I was always in them for a long time. Mm-hmm. I was. I, I went from the Guns to Mammoth. And then um, I was in a couple of versions of Mammoth here and there. Kevin came back in, around. He had a, a bad motor accident, motorcycle accident years ago. He had that. He had his throat cut with the for the tube, the trach thing, mm. and so it, he had to develop all that again. You know. Wow. Plus, he took a nice knot on the head, so he didn't remember a whole lot. Once he got back in, into it, I, I I stayed with him for the la- for the probably the last fifteen years that he played. And then I didn't really do anything after that. I did and, and, until, you know, a, a, my buddy of mine from work talked me into playing again with the Kick and Jimmies. And when did that start with the Kick and Jimmies? Is that five, six years ago? Something? I want to say like nine years ago. Oh, it's been nine years. Well, I was it's working. I was working. It would, it's, it's good. Went by fast. Because you're my age. You're a little older. You're 62. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be 62 in September. Oh, we're almost the same age. I'm October. I'll be 62. Yeah. So, I you, know. can't, you can't believe we're 62. No, I can't. No, I can't. Because every time I go on the mirror, I'm like, oh, man, i got to get a little nip and tuck, I think. Uh, the, with the cameras, I'm always like this. Um, so. <laughs> I told you, don't make me look fat. <laughs> I don't have a thin cam. I wish yeah. I did.
biggest mistakes when you make a mistake do you just roll through or are you a oh, stopper yeah. no because i try to tell young drummers don't stop don't stop never stop don't stop the best this the best rule of thumb yeah to about being in a band is as long as you start all together and finish all together the middle bit could be a bit sketchy. Yeah, sometimes. you could pull it yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, and yes, there's going to be somebody out there that caught it. You could, take, yeah, you could take it course. to the bank. But you know, at the same time, like 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 if, if, when I see something like that, I, I see how I, I I look for the recovery. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And it could it could be awesome, or it could be not so awesome. But either way. They get right back in there, and if the players and don't stop, if the don't. players are seasoned, they could pick yes. up on it. Yeah, I mean, if you get a guy that can't count, whether it be a guitarist or a keyboard player, yeah. you got to have a little rhythm, at least. Yeah, at least uh, yeah. you know two and four. That's what that's what's so fun about the band I'm in now is they're all they're, they're all older guys, so they're not they're not afraid to look at you and go. Yeah, you, you know, screwed up. Yeah. You know, or, or no, to bring you back in, like okay, oh, yeah, hey, oh, hey, to, you know, to lead you in, yeah, you know, the the guitarist, the, this, <laughs> that, it's that sign, yeah, we we'll always yeah. did that, like, eh. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I, you know what? I'm not. Uh, I know a lot of guys that play clicks. And and I and, and I've been actually told, look, if you're gonna do anything, you have to you're gonna have to play this, you're gonna have to get this click thing going. So far, I haven't, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm and I'm sure my my tempos go up down, you know. But but that's you know. that's natural. No one ever locks in straight. I could play around the click, and that's what you do. You don't mm -hmm. have to play right on top of it. Yeah, you could lay behind it, go a little ahead. The only thing it helped me with is drum rolls. You know, you're yeah. really not speeding up there, so it's not like I count either. I'm not a counter. I'm not sitting behind the drums yeah. counting. But playing with a click isn't as as bad. It's I know it's hard if you can't hear it. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Your best interpretation of Animal the Muppet. My hearing is gone. I, I, What's I, I wear a, I wear a hearing aid. Oh, you do. I, I don't have it in now. Oh, because I can't wear it when I play. Wow. But yeah, I've I've I, I've. Is it from the rock music yes. or? Yeah. It's funny. Someone was just asking me about if I had a hearing problem, and my hearing is fine. No, it's it. it but my, see, I never really stood in front of the amps, the guitar players, and the guys. Always like, why don't you push that shit up? Yeah. <laughs> Put yeah. It up here. <laughs> I didn't want it in my ear. No. Well, but I, you know, I didn't. I didn't know. You know, I didn't. I, I mean, I mean, I, I, and I, I know it's. I sound like a moron saying that because everybody always says you better protect your ears. You better protect. Not your ears. in the '70s. But, nobody but you know did what? That. It didn't. It didn't sound the same. Yeah, you know? it never did. It never sounded the same. So I've never even used those earbuds, those monitors. I've never no, even used those. I never have either. I don't know. I just, I just kind of like to hear. The crack of my own mm -hmm. drum and that, to me that I, yeah. I have to feel it, hear it to to know where I'm going. Yeah, you exactly. know what I mean. Yeah, I know. Because even playing with the headphones on is kind of odd because you can't hear the bass drum; just sounds like a little pillow thump. Mm -hmm. So it throws you off. Absolutely. Who could be texting at this hour? <laughs> the... Kick and Jimmy. They got a website or anything? Facebook page. Got a Facebook page. Yeah. Got a Facebook page. That's about it. And how do you spell that so people know where to find it? K I K hyphen N hyphen J I M I. The hyphens are always very weird to me. I yeah, can't figure I out. I, I, I wasn't in charge of that, but I had to know. Google hyphens because I, I do know a guy one, tried to stop us from playing a gig because his band was kicking kicking Jimmy. Uh, there's a difference, and, though. And, and he says he says that uh, you know. Don't do it. I'm going to sue you. I'm going to do all the. I was up in Willow Springs. And I'm like, I, I, I don't know what happened, but we ended up doing a job. 
and and I haven't heard anything about it since then. But but it's it's, it's like it's not even the same. Is there a, a reference behind that kick and Jimmy? I mean, is there? Yeah, it's uh, from from Beavis and Butthead when the guy says, "Kick me in the Jimmy, kick me in the Jimmy." Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, I remember Beavis and Butthead, but I mm-hmm. didn't recall that line. Okay. So, kick and Jimmy, uh, look for them on Facebook. Rolling Thunders, Quack and Bush, thank you so much for thank coming you. in. Thank you. It was really great. You know, I have a, I have a consolation prize, and you could choose. Uh, these are giveaways that I give on the show. I have either you may have the Walter Brennan boxed set or the We Built This City I'm gonna box go with, set. Because my wife is the mayor, I'm going to go with the Built This City. So, well, this is special. The We Built This City box set that has uh, special cuts, mixes, and outtakes. Extended play version. There's 79 versions of this one set song on the box set and uh, they, they have a, uh, a dance version they have the dog whistle version the silent whistle yeah. uh, the band members in uh, blouse choices all their rayon blouse choices yes. are pictured in here uh, pictures of all their perms through the years interviews with the band <laughs> yeah, there's, there's quite a perm thing going on there. interviews with the band and um, how to capture that bridge and tunnel look so congratulations thank you the uh, we built the city box set the Walter Brennan box set is big too, and we'll be having these available online. You could go to you'll get yours, you son of a bitch. That's Nort. Yeah. That's where they're available. Okay. Roland, thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate the coming out and drumming. Fun. A great drummer. Look for Kick and Jimmy in and around the region, and we'll see you next time on the Drum Off series, Kicking It in Kubik's Crib, right here in the front room. You guys take care.